inventory. We have a drive the deal solution so that salespeople in a dealership can engage and connect with a potential buyer, a consumer, further up the sales cycle rather than late in the sales cycle where it's a hostile sort of combative, uh, just about price environment. Uh, we, give, we give a consumer all sorts of tools, whether it's the ability to leverage their community, crowdsource, whether it's the ability to view real-time market analytics, or another powerful differentiator is we give a, a consumer a tool to communicate with three, four, five, seven potential dealers in one window, very simple, elegantly, clean, and so that those dealers, your friends, Bill and mine, have a better perspective of the consumer's intention. What happens in, invariably is uh, an Internet sales manager, you know in your experience, will get a lead and they'll get a lead from Ron Morrison, the potential buyer, potential consumer, and, and, and really the best I can do is get an autoresponder, uh, maybe answer a question. They're generally about price. Are they not, right, from a consumer? They're, they're well, generally about well, price. Well, they know to ask. That's all they know to ask. Right. Yeah, and, and, and so in my head, I'm, I'm sort of blind. I don't, I don't know what the consumer's looking at. I don't really understand their time frame unless they're very forthcoming in, in the comments field. So all I can do is say, hey, listen, we've got great inventory, we've got great customers, we've got great service, and those things are true. And, oh, by the way, call me. Or, oh, by the way, come and make an appointment. Yeah, and that's if a the consumer, Yeah, it's like, not only is it a disconnect, it's a blow away, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if the consumer... If, if we really value the consumer, then we value their interest. And if their interest was to call us, they would have picked up the phone. If their interest was to visit us, they would have done so. Right? But their interest was to connect with us via their, you know, whether it's email or social tool, what have you, and get some basic information answered. Well, so let me ask you, what if you knew that I was asking you about a particular uh, truck, but I'm also interested in uh, an SUV, I'm also interested in a crossover, and I may be even also interested in a, a hybrid vehicle. W would you start with price? Would you start with an appointment, or would you start to build rapport and help me understand? Uh, a better answer. In one of my formal lives, I wrote a book, How to Sell a Car, which is a career guide to the car business. And in that, I reminded people that the first thing you have to do is sell a car, not the car. And if you land them on the wrong one because they haven't properly qualified themselves, given their limited information, you're going down with the price product and in that order, and you can't. You really need to first understand their needs. And if they don't understand them, you need to help them. So I guess your point there is obvious. You definitely need to deal with an educated consumer, narrow it down to the vehicle before you talk price. But you know what? I want to back up a little bit because we've already drilled down into the process. I'd much rather deal with that first impression that you guys have created as a result of your physical Ron's map configuration. You know, one of the frustrations I've had when I'm dealing with the buzzwords of dealers telling me, well, I want to maximize my SEO and I want to qu quantify and qualify my SEM, and I say, well, do you really know what that means? And the truth is that you guys have ingrained an SEO footprint that besides the leverage of the vehicles, you've created a platform that really re eliminates uh, what I call search engine fatigue. Uh, rather than sc uh, scroll through lists and filter through premium positions which are dealers serving, you've surfed up the thing in a, almost a lateral position. Why don't you describe the mechanics, or rather I should say the look of your showroom, because that's a real differentiator. Absolutely is. Um, as a matter of fact, it's, it's, it's our name, right? It's Ron's <laughs> map. And um, what, we, what we found through our research, and we, 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 we did a ton of research, is consumers were frustrated with a linear orientation of information, right? I had to scroll through, like you just said, scroll through lists of here's the inventory, I had to sort them by price, and, and the most I would see on a page is five or six vehicles. And guess what our consumers also said? Research, empirical research. They said, I'm sick and tired of when I do a search, the first thing I see are dealers that pay money to be in front of the top of the list. That's right. right? It's, the same, it's the same search engine fatigue and frustration that we experience in Google or Yahoo when we search for something and we see that we've got you know, two or three paid listings that we have to deal with. As a matter of fact, research proves that consumers who search online, whether it's Google or any other particular search engine, immediately scan down to the fourth, fifth, or sixth element because they know the first two or three, or they assume the first two or three, were paid from SEO or, or, or bias to be in front of them. So we <laughs> solved that. The consumers said, you know what, we want all the wood behind one arrow. I want to see all the products right now. I don't want to have to go from one third party engine to another. I don't want to have to go from page one to page seven to page nine, etc. I want them right now. And so the, the challenge was, how do we put every dealer on position one because that's what the dealer wants, that's what the consumer wants. And so we, we came up with the notion of a map. So on a map, 
essentially everybody's on position one, are they not? Right? So I look yeah. at a map, I 